the high cost of avoiding boredom. Hi, my name is Ed Riggins, but most people just call me Riggo. Welcome back to Thoughts for Thursday. I'd like to start our time together today by having you just notice something. That was about 10 seconds of silence. I get it's a weird thing to do on a video. Still, did you notice any agitation? Did you wonder pretty quickly if something had gone wrong with the technology that caused my screen to freeze? Here's a quote from the 17th century French inventor and writer, Blaise Pascal. All men's miseries derive from not being able to sit in a quiet room alone, close quote. I recently discovered this phenomenon is so much worse than I thought. An article in Science Magazine described a study done with hundreds of undergraduate students at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. They put the participants in sparsely furnished rooms for 15 minutes without any distractions. They could either sit quietly or push a button on a machine that gave them a mild shock. 67% of the men and 25% of the women chose to shock themselves rather than just sit quietly and think. Here's why this matters. Creativity and problem solving often start with boredom. There's a 2019 Time Magazine article titled, Being Bored Can Be Good For You, that talked about the connection between boredom and creativity. They quoted Sandy Mann, who wrote a book on the subject of boredom, who said that boredom can enable creativity and problem solving. When you set aside the usual distractions and just let your mind wander and daydream, quote, there's no other way of getting that stimulation, so you have to go into your head, close quote. This is often where creativity and problem solving begin, with boredom. I've been trying this myself lately by taking my five mile sunrise walks here in Chicago along the lakefront up to Lincoln Park and back. I take the same route and I don't listen to any music or podcasts. I just walk silently and let my mind wander. I can't report I've had any dramatic breakthroughs, but I have seen a surge in my creative output. I've also kind of been kind of amazed at how fast the time seems to pass. There are so many well-funded forces now that are vying for our attention. It's become almost impossible to tolerate stillness and silence. But experience suggests to me that resisting these forces is a worthwhile effort. Our ability to solve problems and be creative can help in almost all aspects of our lives. And I think it's about time we showed boredom a little respect. Doors closed.